I just wanted to share some information that I found online. I have been making uh, contributions with donations like to Salvation Army and um, Goodwill. And even I've made some monetary uh, contributions too. I'm trying to find ways to save on taxes at the end of the year. It is getting close to the end of the year. But uh, all during the year, I have donated. Um, and I'll tell you what I found. I'm not an accountant. Let me let you know that up front. I'm not an accountant or anything. I'm just, you know, I'm not uh, business. You know, businesses can donate or take contributions a little bit easier. I never really knew how to do it. I tried to donate and give it to the accountant at the end of the year and they never explained to me they all they told me was that I couldn't use it it wasn't enough money to do this and that I don't know what they said to be honest with you because I'm not an accountant but so I'm looking myself um, and I'm finding out that the way you can donate it has to be a qualified organization recognized as tax exempt and that that's when they would use the 501 c3 which is a specific form that the uh, a code for the IRS um, so that organization has to have the 501 c3 tax exemption so the way you would find that is just, you know, Google it. But Salvation Army is one place that you would send, you know, regular items, you know, your household items or even cars and things. But I'm not going to talk about cars because I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm, there's so many things that you could use this form for, but I'm only going to tell you about things that I'm going to use it for, which are normal everyday things and even uh, donating money like to a 501 c3 company and, and i do that for one place um I, I i do donate i'm not gonna tell you the name of the place but it's for the hungry and um that's where i send my cash the cash i think there's a limit on cash um the way i'm understanding it there's a limit on cash you know, if, if it's not somebody, please tell me, but that's what I'm doing. Um, but I'll explain this form that I found. It's the 8283, and you can use it for non-cash charitable contributions. And what you'll do is when you get your items together, you're going to donate, say, your clothes, and whatever you have, furniture, uh, um, stoves, refrigerators. Some of these companies, uh, some of these um, organizations don't take refrigerators. You might have to find, you know, you might have to send your clothes to one and your, you know, your other items to a different one. So when you look them up, those organizations will let you know what they accept and what they don't. And... <clears throat> um, also, when you uh, put your items together, take pictures of everything, you know, stack them up, make sure they're clean. Uh, you know, that way when you take pictures of them, they don't, you know, they look good in that picture because you are going to be asking for a fair market value for those items so you can deduct them on your taxes. And after you take pictures of everything, um, you can uh, make a list, uh, for example, um, Salvation Army has a value guide, donation value guide, and I'm looking at it here, and let me see if there's clothes, okay, there's drapes, lamps, you can donate anything, and so they have a value for the kind of item that you would donate, like, um, a high chair ten dollars to fifty dollars you know if you want more than that then don't you know <clears throat> you know sell it whichever way you want to do it or give it away or whatever but you know some of these are pretty fair um like you're you're like a mattress i just 
gave away a full-size bed and I got a pretty good value for that. So what you do is, there is a list, I don't see it right now, I don't remember which place I got it from, I'll have to look, but you can fill in their form online or you can just write it yourself <clears throat> and you'll make an itemized list of everything like 10 shirts or whatever, two shirts or whatever and use their value and your lamps or whatever. Just write everything down. You have your pictures, you have your list, total up your amount and keep it. Every time you donate, just keep it together and at the end of the year, you hand it in to your tax accountant to um, help with your deductions. Uh, that's what I'm going to do now that I know I can do this. I didn't know about it before. Before all the previous years, um, I thought my limit was 500. And I still didn't get to use them because I didn't know how to do it. But now I can donate more. But um, take it to your accountant and you have your proof of the pictures that you donated and you have a list of the items and so there's really no reason why you can't deduct them just make sure you're fair they do have fair market values you can range them depending on the condition of the item that you send uh, that you um, donate and uh, let me see if there's anything else And so that's it. You just uh, find the places, a Purple Heart, Salvation Army, Goodwill. There's, I'm sure there's more than that. Um, that's all I can think of right now. But anyway, if you can help me, you know, if I'm not saying something exactly, or if you can give more information in the comments to help anybody might be watching or to help me, I'll, I'll take any, you know, any help I can get for my taxes. But I just wanted to share this with you. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that if you believe um, your item is worth more than 500 and you want to donate it, that will have to be appraised. According to the form, the way I read it, you will have to appraise that. But if it's below that, then just accumulate your items. Okay, um, the form that you'll fill out is actually called the 8283 Easy. You can uh, find it at 8283easy.com. And what you'll do is it has on the page, it shows the Salvation Army Value Guide. And then uh, you can click on uh, whatever category you want. Appliances, children's clothing, furniture, men's clothing, miscellaneous, William woman's clothing and then you can itemize it on there it's, it's pretty easy to do and then you'll uh, it has a space for the donor name which would be you the donation date the date that you're going to schedule for them to come out and pick up your your things and um, the organization name the recipient organization organization which is um, the you know the one that's eligible to pick up your stuff and then you can create the PDF report so that's what I wanted to let you know um, it's very easy it's on 83easy.com